Okay, now I've got the system plugged into my 01 Dodge, <clears throat> which is a little bit jacked up at the moment. As you can see, well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I got mill right there, P0601, and that flashes up on and off. And uh, I know what that code is. It's got to do with the internal checksum in the uh, computer itself. Doesn't affect drivability, so I don't think I want to spend the X amount of hundred dollars it's going to take to replace the computer. I'm just going to drive it till it dies. Hey, ain't nothing else wrong with the truck. Uh, also on this Dodge, I do not have a mass airflow sensor, so you can see that the, mat, the MPG primary uh, focus, Daniel Sun focus. That ain't gonna work. Oh well, MPG primary there is kind of blanked out. And right here, it'll come through, or right there, yeah, it says no math, no mass airflow. So that means I'm calculating everything off this, which means I got to go back through and like change this to say 85%, which seems to be a good generic value, which seems to work pretty good. Uh, if I fired this system up right now, the numbers would be all off because this is a 5.9 liter engine, not a 1.6. So my numbers would be off by a factor of about, uh, say, three and a half, whatnot. Uh, the miles per gallon would read something like. 35 miles a gallon I'm actually only getting 10 and this thing actually matches the numbers that I get up on my overhead display which is present in the Dodge vehicles I'm not sure about Chevy or Ford but as you can see the mass airflow primary is blanked out I got zero mass airflow calculated because obviously it's going zero miles per hour and I'm getting zero RPM with zero advance the IAT and the CTS is well same as it was in the other car <laughs> Got a lowercase GPH, which tells me that it's lowercase, so it's read it's reading the gallons per hour off the mass airflow calculator. If it was uppercase, it would be reading it off a of mass airflow primary. Just an easy way to indicate to me what's what's what. Same thing for miles remaining in uppercase and lowercase. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, I hit some of my buttons here, and I'm going to go to the uh, clear that clear that P0601. It's going to take me a while to get there, but that's all right. I'm going to clear it. Of course, it's going to come right back. Like I say, I know it's a hard fail, but... DTC clear. Oop, missed it. Damn it. Let's try that again. DTC clear. And I just got to hit a button before this timer counts down. And it reset. Turn the key off and back on, which I will get a P, uh, OBD error here. I know that. So I just cycled the key. And the check engine lights off for now. Yeah, there it's off. Now I'm going to fire up the truck. And hopefully we should be able to see some of these values working. Okay, there are trucks running. And I'll get a temporary fail on the DTCs. Which, that's alright, now it's back working again. And since I just cleared it, that means all my maps, all the temporary maps are gone now. So it's idling a little bit rough. Map sensor went down to 10.04, advances 15, 894, 892, which matches my tack. Uh, what else we got here? 16.1 volts. It's not calibrated. And we got a different OBD number in this one than we had in the, uh, in the other car. It still talks the same as the other vehicle does. Mass airflow calculator, 368 grams per second, which means I'm burning 0.394 gallons per hour. Which means I'm burning 0 0.0 or 2.56 cents per minute in fuel at $3.90 a gallon. Now let me kick up the revs here a little bit. I'm trying to about 1,800 revs, give or take. 18.55. So my maps changed. My coolant temp is coming up. My gallons per hour went way up. See, I've used a hundredth of a gallon just sitting here idling, so my fuel remaining has dropped down to 9.99. 66 times through the loop. Two errors so far. Here you see my short-term and my long-term trims have gone out in the weeds. 
and I'm waiting for that check engine light to pop back up, but it ain't done it yet. I might have to take it out in the road just to do that. That's shaking around just because I've been winding out of here a bit. There's some bugs in there, all right. Here are my gallons per hour since my idle is dropping and it's warmed up a little bit. It's trying to go to closed loop, 14.7. My gallons per hour has dropped to 3, 0.315. Means I'm burning just a little over two cents a minute in gas. CTS coming up to 95. Working here, I'm just wondering why I haven't got that DTC. I'm gonna shut it off. And, and now the engine's off. Keys off. Turn the key back on here. And see if it'll come back up with an OBD fail. There it is. I think. Okay, there's my PID, P0601. Yep. So I know eventually I'm going to have to change this stupid computer out. If anybody's got a spare 01 Dodge Ram 1500 5.9 automatic 4x4 computer, I'd be willing to buy it, as long as it doesn't kick me that stupid DTC. Okay, the next uh, video I'm going to take my 97 Nissan Sentra out for a test drive. So far I've tested this system on a 97 Nissan Sentra GXE, uh, 98 Nissan Sentra 200 SXSE, a 01 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.9 automatic 4x4, the same vehicle that I showed you the DTCs on, and 04 Ford Ranger, an 05 Honda Accord, an 04 Toyota Sequoia, 01 Chevy Cavalier, 01 Chevy Malibu, and about a half dozen other ones. It, it's worked on every one of them. There isn't one that's failed yet. Uh, I really want to get my hands on more can work uh, so I can figure out if i got to turn the baud rate up on the Elm. Right now I'm running 9600 baud and it's running just fine. I haven't uh, dropped any data between the two. I'm sure it will on can. Also one thing that I forgot, uh, those two EEPROMs that are on the main board, I capture all the data every loop through and put it in the EEPROM and I've got it set up on the on the display here to where it'll show you a graph of what's going on. Uh, a friend of mine had a problem here a little bit ago where his car was just dying for no reason, so we sat there and I data logged the whole thing and I thought I saw a math dropout. And he cleaned it up, and after that, I took another bunch of readings. Didn't fix the problem, but I saw that the math wasn't dropping out anymore. You know, the graph was nice and where it should be. It wasn't spiking down like that and then dropping off real quick and all we did with that was just a q-tip and some rubbing alcohol problem turned out to be a crappy ignition switch you'd tap on the give the dash a good whack and the car would die give the dash another good whack and the car would pick up again go figure so good quality crap uh typical chevy yeah anyways the next uh the next little segment will be the test drive in a 97 nissan Sentra automatic 1.6 yeah, with all the good stuff, mass airflow sensor, all the all the senses I need. I wish I knew how to read a knock sensor, but it doesn't matter.